uh, level up for Singapore's quest towards a zero waste future. A new 40 million uh, Sing dollar waste to energy research facility by the Nanyang Technological University and National Environment Agency officially opened its doors today. The plant converts rubbish collected from the university campus into electricity and materials that can be used in construction. It will also serve as a test bed for innovation for companies with the aim of possible export. Jundo reports. From this to this, the new research facility at Tuas South has been turning trash into useful materials since March this year. It's part of a 10-year project to recover resource and produce electricity from waste. Unlike conventional incinerators, this version does not produce bottom ash, thereby reducing the need for dumping at the Samarkal landfill, which is at risk of running out of space by 2035. The facility also operates at a different temperature. I'm standing some distance from the furnace behind me and still I can feel the heat emitting from it. And understandably so as this plant is able to burn up to 1,600 degrees Celsius. That's almost double that of the conventional mass burn incinerators used currently. The high temperature turns the rubbish into various byproducts, for instance, slag and metal alloy, which can potentially be used for construction, such as building roads. The process also creates syngas, which comprises carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This gas is directed to a secondary chamber, where it's heated to generate steam. The steam is then used to drive a turbine to produce electricity for the plant. The facility is said to be the first of its kind in the region, and the university hopes this can interest private sector players to test their ways to energy proposals. It gives new opportunities for scaling up lab research for our faculty and staff, and new research, basic research and scientific research will come out of this. For example, what kind of biocompatible materials can serve as fuel, creating uh, models that can more accurately predict and therefore design the way in which the plant operates. But it's not just the scientific community that stands to gain. We are investing in ways to energy and ways to resource R&D to not only tackle our problems at home, but hopefully help companies to gain a new competitive edge and export innovative solutions to overseas markets. The National Environment Agency says it plans to provide more support for related research activities through funding.